Hello guys, welcome to Anon 3 Minutes Master where you can learn any concept in 3 minutes. In this video, I wanna give you a basic idea regarding Java Access Modifier. Here, the extent to which a user is allowed to access the resources, I mean, uh, let's call them as permissions. We often see the boards like uh, uh, restricted entry and uh, for example, let me consider a home where you only have access to it. And I have used the term access that is having permission. The access modifiers in Java specifies the accessibility or scope of methods or class. We can change the access level by using these things. In general, we often write a program by declaring a class as public. Like as we have shown here, the, this public is one among the access modifier. Likewise, Access modifiers are categorized into four types, public, private, default and protected. The top row indicates the place where the access modifiers can get access and S indicates permission to access where no indicates the restriction. Let's learn in detail. Public is an access modifier which can be accessed by any other class. Consider a bank as it is open to all the customers as then as they can access I mean uh, visit any time this example shows that the class hello and main method are declared as public hence the class and method are visible to other classes as well now consider private access modifier just compare it with a house as it can be used privately by the family I mean the family members can access it Likewise, if we declare a class or a method or a variable as private, they are accessible within that particular class. Here, in this example, name and age are declared as private. So, the methods inside the class can have access over it, not others. Now consider default access modifier. In a school playground, the ground is restricted to that particular students who belong to that school, not others. Irrespective of the class, the class and the methods are accessible within the same package. Default access specifier doesn't require a keyword. In this example, int s is considered as default as we did not mention any access specifier here. Now consider protected access specifier. In a class, if a teacher asks any question, the answer is to be given by the students of that particular class. Let us add some subclass members i mean subclass students can also uh, get i mean say the answer to it in this case let us compare it with it here here as f name is declared as protected the elements that are in same class and subclass can access can have access to it here we can see the class students extends person so the class student can access f name Thanks for watching our video. For more videos, do subscribe to our channel 3mm 3 Minutes Master. If you like, hit the like button and bell icon there and do share with your friends. Don't forget to drop a comment.